welcome to Let's Play EG. So of course there's been a trend thus far of me getting back into playing through all of Daniel Ramar's games. And the one game that a lot of people have been asking for and I have been passing by is EG. EG became very well known a fair few years back and developed quite the fan following. I I haven't necessarily been avoiding EG, but I will say the game I will praise the game's quality and everything that goes into it, but for whatever reason, it's just not a game that uh, that appeals to me as much as I feel it could. I don't know. Um, the best I can think of is some games just don't mesh as well with some people as others, but I still want to do the game, and I still want to do the game proper. Now I have... I was originally debating playing through the game just as I would. Um, I'll play through the game, one good session, get it, knock it out, good to go. And I felt like that wasn't doing the game justice. So I've sat down and I've done a lot more research and a lot more looking into how things are played through and what affects what. And I've decided I'm going to be trying to do a pacifist run. If possible, a complete pacifist run. Zero kills. Though we'll talk more on how that's not entirely true later on. Um, you can get the pacifist ending and still be considered a pacifist run if you get five or fewer kills per level. However, um, if you get actually zero kills throughout the entire game, there's a special prize waiting for you at the very end. On top of a couple other um, collectibles and things along the way that I'm going to be trying to pick up. So, with that said, let's start EG. So let's go back here real quick. Um, okay, options, there's some options, screen shaking, voices, yada yada. Um, controls, customized controls. There's extras, which are a lot of interesting things in here. Um, so I've not beaten the game yet. Hero 3D is unlockable partway through the game. There's alt an alternate outfit you can wear. Um, also some interesting things in here. I don't know what of these I'm going to be unlocking, but they're here. I should at least, like, go over them a little bit slower so you can see what it takes to unlock them. There are collectible posters throughout the game. I'm going to be trying to collect all of them. So that's that. Let's start the game. Um, I'm going to be playing on normal. Now, as far as I know, what difficulty entails is you do level up as the game goes on by collecting little duders to level you up. Um, the level cap is set per level, um, and on normal the level cap is 5, so I'm going to be playing on normal. On hard I believe it's 4, and extreme it's 3. I'm not sure if higher difficulties also increase other things. So something horrible just kind of happened.
So a lot's happened in six months. And by that, I mean a lot of people died. I'm going to start with a bit of a tutorial. And to start, we can move, we can jump, we can duck. A lot of dead people over there. There are logbooks around, you can read these. Some of them will be tutorial information, some of them will be logbooks. So you can kick those, and if you're jumping and you press down, you can break them. Um, fairly easy, as long as you're pushing towards the wall, you'll climb up the ledge. So we do have a gun. Yeah. Wrong button. And it has, at least the shotgun, has infinite ammo. So that's nice. Not that we'll be using the shotgun all that much. But hey, we have it. Now, interesting thing is the weapon we're using is a nano gun. Now, what that means is it's not just a gun. It can actually reformat and refit itself to fire various things in various ways, depending on what we install in it and know how to install in it and the like. So we have one gun and we will always have one gun, but it will become more multi-purpose as the game goes on. So we have a Lowly scout over there. He'll shoot you with a machine gun when you get in range. I could kill him, however, um, as part of the pacifist run. Obviously, I cannot. So instead, I'm just going to... on past him as stealthily as physically possible. Yeah, so, get shot, get hurt. You lose armor, when your armor goes down, you lose health. Your armor does not regenerate, they, it's kind of just... I don't know, it's kind of like energy tanks? Um, you don't get any temporary invincibility until you break an armor thing, though, and actually lose health health. Uh, green refills armor, red refills health and armor. Cool beans. Oh man, stats and leveling up. Hey. So when you collect a when you collect nano, it's the blue things you'll find them laying around the level. They'll also drop by dead guys. It fills up a gauge in the lower right hand corner of the screen that says nano. When the gauge fills up, you level up, so you can see I'm now level 1, and every time you level up, you get a point to put into various stats. However, you can't put them in just any stat. So we have a health, raises your HP, and then a bunch down here for your various other stats. So as he says, you can only gain five levels per sector. That is a level cap. So no matter how many, how many nano you get, you will not go past level five.
Okay, so if he's explaining them... Um, yeah, strictly nano weapons. How powerful is your gun? That's it. We will be putting zero points into this. Um, assimilate is just kind of how much do pickups do? Like, how good are pickups? Ammo capacity? I, sort of. Too. It's a sort of weird miscellaneous stuff. Strength! You saw me kick earlier. Um, the strength of your kick can do various things, such as kick down doors and enemies, and you have to have a higher strength to do it against certain duders or doors. Um, Tayson stat is, of course, the Tayson's nano weapons are laying around. You can pick them up and use them, but only if your Tayson stat is high enough. So we'll, we will actually want stats in that, despite what one would think, but we'll get to that when we get to it. And Kamado is a whole nother dealio. Um, I'm going to put a point in strength. So I get strength level two, and then I'm going to turn around. I'm going to turn around, and I'm going to walk all the way back to the very beginning, right by this guy, who's not very bright. Oh, he clipped me with a bullet. Is this door at the very beginning had a strength 2 requirement to break. Yeah, I'd say the pools of blood in the ground probably didn't help with that. Ah, so Dan deciphered the language. Dan did a lot. Okay, our dad's dead. Cool beans. And hopefully we're smarter, because some of these guys, not that bright. That's fair. Leave somebody just unconscious laying there for long enough, they're eventually going to get sick. Where'd the dudes come from? Where'd they go? This is a dead end room. Ah, that's something we'll be getting to a little bit later. Poster. So, of course, Mia being our younger sister, who is also gone. And Dan may seem a little bit cruel, but honestly, he's been at this for six months now, six months now, just trying to friggin' live. I 
and then you get close enough, you see it, and it unlocks the poster. I've already unlocked this one because I unlocked it while testing, but um, everything else will be getting fresh when we arrive. And Dan still got some degree of a soft spot for us. So onwards then, that was your that was the first major secret in the first level. And to get it, you just have to have that strength of two. He shot me in the foot. Well, I wanted to grab the green, but I kinda conked my head, so whatever. Oh my head. Oh my head. Level 1 shield door, our strength is 2, so we could take a level 2 shield door, but, uh... Simple to use. Easy to move. You can also only get in here if you get a level 2 strength. You can collect ammo for guns you don't have, and you'll have that ammo when you actually get the gun sometime later. And of course, E.G. is just a regular person. Like, a regular person suddenly thrown into this isn't going to be super cool about running around on a murderous rampage. I mean, well, some people would, but... I feel like even for some people who would say, like, yeah, I'd totally do it, actually put in that situation, I feel like they'd be, uh... They'd think a little differently. And then some people, of course, would actually go for it, and I think... That's weird, and you should probably seek help if you're just so eager to kill people. Now, Dan, of course, having lived in this crap for six months, is full on just friggin' kill him. I don't care. So, important thing to note is, um, though I'm doing a pacifist run, you don't have to. There's a normal run, and there's even a genocide run if you really want to. Oh, poop. Hey, rude. I don't want to get that health because I want to get it on my way back. Got it. Like a ninja. Uh, there was a little bit of experience over there, so I wanted to grab that. A little bit of nano. nano. Ah, I made it. Can just make that jump. Sneak by, eat both of them. All right. Um, let's see, so I could increase assimilate here, but I'm going to choose not to. Did I miss one of these logs? Was there more back here and I wasn't paying attention? If there was, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna keep going up. Because there's some dudes down there and it's gonna be a lot easier for me to just go this way. Dang it. Wrong way. Wanted to grab that. And then get shot as I upgrade strength to level four. I did it. I made it. I'm alive. 
Um, so since the elevator moved up, you had to jump all the way down in order to do that. But if you take the teleporter up, it just takes you here to the very top. Thankfully, there was health down there, too. So that's cool. Um, so I just upgraded strength to four. I don't especially know if I'm going to be increasing it much beyond that for now. But I needed it four for this guy. This guy is not a regular Tazen like the other guys. This guy, a little bit tougher, a little bit stronger, and is a rocket launcher. And I need that rocket launcher for secret number two. So first I need him to turn around. And then I'm just gonna hide down here for a minute. So the thing is, um, stronger enemies require higher strength in order to be able to kick. Without a strength of four, I cannot kick him. And that's what I needed him to do. Later, Duder. Supercharge! There is one supercharge hidden in each level, and that super uh, supercharge just gives you a point. It doesn't increase your nano or your level or anything. It just gives you a point. Sector Z, eh? We may get back to that later. And you have to get all the posters before doing it, because why they put that restriction on it is beyond me. Okay, so we're gonna hop by this guy, keep running, keep running, keep running. I don't need anything else down below. Thank you. I would have shot that open myself. I mean, I can shoot glass. Hmm. Okay, grab that and you'll see there's a little ribbon on the ground here. So that ribbon is another collectible, of which there are... there is one in every level. One poster, one ribbon, one supercharge in every level. Don't need anything over there, so I'm just gonna keep on cruising. Grab just a little bit of nano over here. Some ammo that I'm not gonna be using a lot of. Pitiful level one shield doors. I will say they are in fact aliens. Um, they are humanoid, for sure, but they're not human. Well, I beg to differ. Grab that nano. So you have to have your taste in at level three before you can pick up this weapon. I'm not going to be putting my, I don't even have the points anyway, but I'm not going to be doing that here, now, but I will get this eventually. So rest assured. I think that's just a machine gun. All right, so Crotera is a pretty cool guy. 
I'm just gonna cruise right on by all of them. Hmm. I wanted. Dang it. I don't wanna kill you. I wanna shoot the stupid glass. There, I just wasn't close enough. That's the problem. Okay, so I need. Ah, uh, Pope. Pope, Pope. Ow. Pope, Pope, Pope. There we go. Ha! I did it. Finally. Okay, so, um. Remember how I said I'm not killing anybody? Well, I'm not. But that doesn't mean people can't die. So these little guys, I forget what they're called. They're like, they're called like blips or something. They do very little damage, but they do contact damage when you run over them, and they will kill indiscriminately. You can't kill them, they can't kill them, but if you can get them to eat somebody, they'll eat somebody. So we hit level five, so we're at our maximum level for the first area. We have three points left over, but I'll save them for next time. Yeah, a bunch of jerks. Look at all this stuff I can look at. Like my current statistics that say I've still killed zero guys. I took one damage. Um, you can also retry a level here, which I'll probably be doing a couple times. Um, by necessity, actually. But that'll do it for Sector 1. So until next time everyone, when we continue on into Sector 2.